Oh, I've been having a fantastic day, and welcome to Scopophobia, a indie horror game based on the phobia. I don't know. This is basically it. it's a short horror game where you are not meant to let anything or anyone inside your room. I'm not sure if the game is even going to be good. It looks like it's maybe the developer's first game. It looks like it could be interesting, and we're going to give it a try. So let's just get into it and uh, hope it is more on the leaning towards the interesting indie horror game. I'm really tired. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Entry Keep. My day was long. I really need to sleep. You have trash all over you. All around you. start like fucking laughing you just suddenly start hearing like a, a toilet seat go down like it's just toilet sounds <laughs> instead of going to bed you just start hearing the process press e to toggle a flashlight i'm gonna assume it's like if you hear noises you oh okay but night ain't reliable click to in radio to open menu click in radio to open menu Click in radio. Interesting. Okay. I like the immersion so far. The flashlight works. There's a lot to the room. Like, there's a lot to glean and get. Okay. Good so far. Like, we entered there. The room. I like it. Like, I'm trying to jump into these games, like, fully judgmental. Don't get me wrong. I want to be honest. I want to give everyone a absolute honest take. It's a shit to watch my door every night before sleeping. It's a shit. I was making a joke about toilet humor not too long ago. But rules are rules. Like they always say. Oh, are they telling me I'm actually meant to be watching as time goes down or... Or trying to sleep and only doing it when noise happens. Or is he just like making fun of me because I have my light on? Also, is that always red? Oh, like cartoonish faces, but click in radio. To click in radio to open radio. This? Oh. What? Tuning is a pain in the ass, but interesting. Well, I, I, I don't think there should be anything. Oh, oh, what we can, what we can, inter we can interact with things too. Okay, wait, what? But what things can we interact with? Okay, now I'm super curious. Not the book. Um, you know what, maybe I can, uh, give me one sec, I'm going to activate the mouse cursor, because then you guys can see where I'm looking and clicking, like, it might be, actually, you know what? it might be a distraction, you may not need it, you can have, like, a nice, clean, seamless screen. Have I complete, uh, complained about the mess before? I need to clean up all this trash. Uh, yeah. The clock hasn't really moved much. Okay. Have I completed the mess before? I guess it's just some observations. Also, I didn't turn you on. Stations 27... Wait, 27, 35 is important? Oh god, it's fine. Uh, 27. 27. 35 is important, though. Why is 35 important? Okay, well. Oh, wait. The, the, oh, the latest news. Of the events. Freaks me out because I don't know what's coming up. Huh? Was that the person on the radio or my character talking about the radio? Well, we'll just sleep with the lights off. See what happens.
I think I... Am I doing this till I hear noise? I don't. I genuinely don't know. Code. I'm guessing then we need to hear a code... 27, though. At some point, 35 should tell me a code, then. And nothing's changed! What? Hm? Okay, well, now something's up. What is this? I'm so curious about a lot of things. But nothing's happened! I guess I'll skip that again. Oh. Two? Wait. Three. Two, three? I mean, that was like Morse code and... and numbers? God damn it. Alright, well, um... Hmm. Okay, my own volume. Get, get, get out of here. Um... I don't think it would just be... Low battery, use the charger next to the tablet to recharge the flashlight. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm gonna get killed because it's charging while that noise is happening? And I need my flashlight on while the noise is happening? There's so much guessing going involved, but I don't know, that's why I like playing horror games, right? Maybe it's one way I could explain it. Like, I, I don't even know if this game will be good. I don't even know if the game will be bad. I don't even know how I will fail or succeed. In many ways... When I play indie horror games, and I, it's like a gamble. I don't know how I'm going to die, if dying will happen, will it be scary, will not be scary, will it be a hidden gem? I do like that about indie horror games, right? Imagine it like this. To a less extreme, extreme degree, it's almost like playing FNAF all over again, right? Imagine or try to remember what it was like when you first heard about FNAF. Or when you first played FNAF. Before it became... A franchise that it is now. Imagine or remember how it was when FNAF first came out and, you know, maybe it was like legit scary for you until you got adjusted to it. Or, or it's just like you heard this game was super fucking scary and everyone got it and then everyone played FNAF 1. But that feeling. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. This fuse controls all the power in my room. Each room has its own fuse. This way it prevents conflicts and. Co it prevents conflicts, and conflicts here can result in death. Okay. Anywho, uh, with the lights off, I'll, I guess I can just continue. Uh, but where were the fuck was I rambling at? Jesus Christ. FNAF. Playing indie horror games is a lot like trying to find the next FNAF, right? That's why I like indie horror games, because I'm playing this being like... I mean, I don't expect it to be FNAF, you know, quality, but... The, the, the mystery and the suspense of not knowing is mildly addicting. What was that? No, yeah, but really, what was that? Sounds like a cat scratching the door to come in. But as far as I know, I don't have a cat. I don't know if there are still cats nowadays. Oh, Post-apocalyptic or something? Maybe something like, uh, Mike, uh, was it Kubnika of, um, Buckshot Roulette fame? Maybe this universe, or this in-game universe is... I knew it, there was a number. I think the first one is a four. Hang on. Next one's three. Three. 
I knew it. And we'll leave it on 27 just to see what comes out of it. Let's see if the code was right and what happens if we try to input the code. Please tell me it's 423. Invalid code. Okay, it's something else. Um. 123? God damn it. Well. I don't want to listen to the. I had to hear it, but it only pops in every so often. I'm going to reduce the noise in editing, but I'm going to be. The worst timing. I didn't hear the first number again. God damn it. I'll skip ahead unless something new happens, though. Oh, wait, this clock is broken. Photos I found on the street. Impressive how people still use wooden crates to store photos, even nowadays. In one of these photos, there's a code. God damn it. Wait, that has nothing to do with the code on the radio. I mean, one thing, if you guys are interested, you can... The beep beep beeps are... It probably is Morse code. If you want to... God damn it, maybe I have to listen to the Morse code instead of asking for your guys' help, too. Ah, damn it. Okay. I want to listen to the radio's numbers then. One, two, five, three, nine. I don't know if I'm just meant to live here and basically bed rot, because we don't know how much time goes by, or if the game ends by you not having done anything for a certain amount of time, because the clock's broken. It's not going to... The, the, the sense of time is not going to move. Um... Does it want to hear the radio's thing one more time? Just make sure I'm hearing it right, though. Unless it's like a number I have to add at the end of the picture's number. So it's like, if it's a 423, maybe I need to add that before or after the 1 2. Forgot to lock the door. Oh! It's impossible for them to have gotten in. This is the most well protected place there is. Uh, close. Quickly. I think I should go check outside. There's a safe there, too. I think I should go check outside. Maybe I'm just being paranoid and there's nothing to worry about. Better grab my camera. Oh. What? Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Well, place, movement. Oh, cool, what? It's sensing movement there? A cam I didn't even know there's a camera function by hitting the E button, but I'll the game is... Okay, well, interesting. Like, we exited a literal bunker. Is it a bunker? What? Is it a tent? Is it a bunker? Nuclear bunker? Does it go downstairs? I'd assume it goes downstairs. I wouldn't assume that it's just like me being cramped in this little nook. I can't imagine that. Interesting. For a developer, I mean, too, especially. Like, I'm, I don't know if it is their first game, but even this is really cool. I haven't seen something like this used. I like it. I can't sprint faster, but... Something on a hill or in the tree? There's like a safe combination in the room, and we got up till you even leave our bunker. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it'd be just, you stay in the bed and it'd be a FNAF game. Or like those other games where it's just like, I'm afraid of the nightmare monsters, I'm afraid of the... Well, what was it actually? Sorry, the um... Par paralysis demons kind of game, right? I was thinking this game was going to be a paralysis demon type game. Movement. This camera is really fucking powerful. But I couldn't re enter. Why is it leading me to the sun? What does yellow even mean? Am I just like a moth to a flame right now? What am I even going towards? What? 
And what were the codes for? I'm, I'm gonna assume... We're being, like... Like a... Like structure? Can I walk... It's a big structure, but how do I get into there? Oh god, it's a big spider! <laughs> Camera disconnected. Okay. Too bad the camera filter was still on. I couldn't get a good look at the spider because it killed me with the camera filter still on. Huh. Interesting, though. No, for a game. Interesting. I'm trying to di just digest everything here. Just give me a moment. Oh! The giant structure... ...was a giant spider. Oh! It, was, it wasn't diagonal pillars, it was a big fucking spider. Or... I mean, that... Was it? Like, that, that Hell X building. Was that just like the spider that killed me and it was just looking big by perspective? Or was it just a giant fucking spider? Because I'm seeing the like the X shape here, like it's Twitter's HQ kind of thing, right? Interesting. But bad ending, yeah. Interesting. So if you don't get the codes and don't do it right, eventually the game, the the door opens, you leave, and it's the bad ending. Whoops. Uh, wait, is my camera doing okay? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, okay. Maybe it moved. I'll have to double check. History by trust all. History. What do you mean, history? <laughs> These are true events. They really happened in Sweden. Textures by Screaming Brain Studios? No, but really interesting. As I was talking about, like, the FNAF of, like, the mystery and suspense of sudden indie horror games that you can't have an expectation, you don't know... Let's say the glass ceiling or the ceiling of competency or the ceiling of expectations for certain developers when they're indie or doing something new. Like like, like Zekers. Mike Klubnika, Scott Cawthorn, Toby Fox, all these people of higher notoriety from what they've made. I find... When I find these people, and Toby Fox, I mean, made Undertale, but you guys know what I mean. Like, 10 years ago, does anyone know Toby Fox? They just come out of nowhere. They're indie. They're not owned by studios, etc. You know, maybe they have experience in AAA studios before they go indie. Maybe they don't. But the point I was trying to bring up there for this very reason, I, I downloaded this game not expecting much of anything. And it wasn't because of, like, skepticism because, oh, it's an indie horror and it's the, you know, developer hasn't made anything before. But also, if you were to look at the store page, I'll just do it very briefly here. Hang on. Um, okay. And the, here's the store page, for instance. It was uploaded two days ago by the developer Byte Lower Games. And, and then the store page is right here. It's fine enough. Basic, simple, a little maybe over simple, but I'm not going to, you know, critique this. That's not the whole point. But, you know, two days and no comments. And then I go to the game I played or recorded just recently before this. I played this game, Late Homework by Soda Raptor. And that was put up four days ago. And then you just see these the, the difference. Of feedback. Of responses. When you have experience on your belt like this. And it becomes more expected. They have connections and history. Then you get these... You get YouTubers just playing your game. They, they, the YouTubers... Tiny or not, there's some of these people that are uploading videos and posting on the store page 
they have maybe five subs, 500 subs, 1,000 subs, 10,000 subs, but, you know, something smaller than mine, let's say. Maybe they get more views than me at this point. Um, but, but the point I'm trying to say is, I then see this, and for me, it's a risk. Because other people aren't willing to take the risk. But I hate this. This pisses me off. Like... I, I wish I was pirate software kind of in a way of having that kind of reach in a way, but I don't envy his position because that guy works probably his ass off uh, much harder than I do. But without getting too off topic with the rambling, it was just, I feel I find this unfair, right? There's no comments. It's been two days. This game is not even bad, right? I found it interesting. Like my Klubnika games. So to the developer, if you're watching, I like your game, I see a lot of potential, right? If I'm comparing you to Club N Club Mike Klubnika, or Klubnika of, um, you know, who made Buckshot Roulette, and he made, hang on, let me, Buckshot Roulette. While we're here, uh, this is like more for the developer, I'm like talking to the developer from the past. But see, Cl Mike made a lot of these games and, and other games, I, I'm definitely sure he made other games that I played uh, before these. I'm pretty damn sure. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure. And all of them were great, but got very little attention uh, at the time until he made Buckshot Roulette. I want to tell the developer, if you keep it up, there's no telling if you could make a game that becomes as then known as Buckshot Roulette because Mike was the kind of guy who made great stuff and from my perspective as an indie YouTuber, let's say, I played his games and I always found it unfair that others would get attention where he doesn't. And then finally, Buckshot Roulette gets him the attention he deserves. Just like Zekers then released, uh, you know, a Lethal Company and got the attention I felt he deserves. Fear and Hunger. Fear and Hunger 1 did not get the attention I thought it deserved. And now finally, after Fear and Hunger 2 comes out, now it's almost borderline mainstream. Um, so, to the developer, this game is not bad. I do want to see more. Don't let anything stop your desire or passion for making games. That's the first thing I want to say. Because I, I don't know how things feel for an indie developer, like, you know, starting off. I know how it is to be a YouTuber starting off, clearly, because I was at zero subs at one point. But for an indie developer, I just want to at least compliment, right, and praise what I saw. This game reminds me of Mike Klubnika games in a way, just different style, not mechanical puzzle-based. But I'm going to replay it again because there's a, a bunch of shit I'm seeing. Uh, let me get back to the store page. See, there's this. Result here on the code page. Here. Ah, oh, the Morse code. Am I supposed to be translating that afterwards? Hmm. All right, let's not spoil ourselves. I guess we're going to have to try to figure out the code and try to get the good ending because I don't know how many endings there are. I'll assume good and bad. But unless we open up the safe and... Also, might have to, like, when the door opens, and I say to close the door, he doesn't even close the door. Once the door opens, we're probably fucked. So, let's get back into it and see if we can get the good ending. Okay, so, one, two, five, three, nine. I'm gonna do this, like, immediately. Now that we started a new game. Uh, alright. Let's see how far we can get into the good ending. Invalid! No, you're kidding me. What? I'm so curious, but rules are rules, like they always say. Like, we're meant to only always watch the door, and it's part of the rules. I'm curious about the world, because, like, I compared it to Mike. Maybe the developer was inspired by Mike. Like, the post-apocalyptic, unknown, mysterious world, but in Mike Klubnika's world, it's like those orb-headed spider things. And if I were to under try to understand Mike's games, like, it's like a post-apocalyptic rustic game, maybe like Half-Life 2, where, like, the column, like, not column, the Combine 1, and there's, like, sort of a body horror-esque style, or human enslavement, post-apocalyptic aliens, weird shit going on, or, and this is giant spiders, but in Mike's, I don't know. There's a lot of games that feel like they're in the same universe, but it's all showing the same thing that humans are, like, kind of enslaved, or used as a game for 
uh, elite's purpose of amusement, whether they're alien overlords or humans, doesn't matter. And this, I don't know, just that the world's mostly over, there's a lot less humans, and there's spiders outside. And once you go outside, I would almost imagine that our character became almost brainwashed to just keep moving forward, because there was just no inclination of him to say, I should turn back, right? He just kept going forward and forward, almost like he's being led or... Like, he got infected. I, it's just pure... You know, pure theorization, but nonetheless. Um, if that's not the right code, though, 12539, I have no idea. I'll keep investigating and seeing if I can get a different path, because I know, one, we need to figure out this. Two, I need to figure out the Morse code, which I can do in my prior recording. And three, the safe code, TV code, and Morse code, if the Morse code is even relevant. Not sure. Wait, result here. Okay, so here. Hmm. Well, that's not a good sign. I forgot to lock the door. I, it, the store, the store page's code t gets me to the next step. Is that it? It's impossible for them to have gotten in. Mm -hmm. Uh, keep the door open. I don't want to get up. No, just leave it. Better get ready. Hope it's just Jip trying to scare me again. Oh shit, and a gun. Might as well shoot him to teach him a lesson. Oh, that's cool. Come on, make my fucking day, spider. If I see anything with more than two eyes. Actually, you know what? If I see anything more with more than one eye, I'm gonna mouse click so fucking fast. I'm gonna say the, the flashlight's gonna give out before the flashlight will give out and then something will jump us, isn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, our movement is actually being tracked. Shit. Like, the, the gun's moving to my mouse cursor. We are paying attention. Okay. Like, what if something crawls on the floor, though? Would I have to move my gun down there and shoot it? I'm watching this door. I'm not taking my eyes off this fucking door. I don't know if I have to skip forward or not, because I'm not taking my eyes off this door. I'm going to do my job. The guy said my job is to watch this door, and I'm going to keep doing it. Especially, I'm not... Anyways, I'm going to sit here and do this, so... Uh, I have to keep going until the flashlight basically turns off and we become fucked. And what if I shoot the... The electrical thing? I wonder if that's what I'm meant to do. I don't know how that would... Help me out, but... The game is not afraid of being slow-paced. Honestly, I've been staring at this fucking door and nothing happening. And I don't know if it's just something that's already in the room and I'm meant to be looking around. Or if I'm meant to look away and then it enters the room. Or if I'm meant to turn off the flashlight and then maybe something will try to enter the room. I don't know. It's just been so long and nothing's fucking happened. Well, that's not a good sound. To my right. Maybe I should pay attention to the door. That's a new sound. I just don't know if the developers literally... Like, it takes a long time to reach to the point where the door opens. To, like, time duration-wise. So part of me is trying to contemplate... Is the developer just literally making a test of time and patience? Would he be willing to do that? And I meant to, it's like a test? If I get bored and look away, it's me failing my job, but at the same time, 
who knows if any, if I'm wrong, then it's just me sitting here wasting my fucking time, right? <laughs> if only one shot. But a creature hasn't shown up, and I have legit been waiting a long time. Shoot it. Oh. We waited that long for the spider to finally come in for us to shoot ourselves. It was duration based? Was it duration based? Well, we got another ending. I think the spider legs are just like, hey, what's going on in here? And we're like, <laughs> okay. Oh, even a different ending sequence. Oh, that's cool. Like, no textured spider or not. I mean, I'll still uh, commend it. Just a big fat spider one. Uh, even bigger. Good. That's the good ending. I mean, there's just a giant spider leg above that spider, so it's just endless, absolute mammoth sized spiders everywhere. And they're roaming the cities. That's the good ending? Okay, then. The codes in the safe have to be a true ending, then, if this is the way the developer's going. Alright. Interesting. But for the, the, the waiting, though, holy shit. I don't know about the whole waiting, but a part of me doesn't complain only for the fact that, like I said in one of my little rants, is when I have no expectations or understanding of how a developer thinks, then I will not know how to interpret a person's uh, method of creating horror games. Like, a lot of developers play it safe with their style of thinking. Once I get used to a developer's method of making games, I can kind of predict their method of thinking and method of solutions to the problems they present in mechanics in games. So that's a big problem with me and in playing indie horror games of people I'm familiar with because a lot of times people don't like to mix things up. Like, let's say you play a set... Like, hmm... Uh, I could get into a rant about that, maybe, maybe I shouldn't. I'd be like, well, it's just like playing Silent Hill 1 and 2. It's familiar, yet different. But I don't know if it'd be a good enough of an example or not. Mm. No idea, but regardless. I'll have to see if I can figure out the codes or not to get potentially what would be maybe a true ending. Like, maybe... Like, I'm. what's, the f what's in the fucking safe? If we solve the TV riddle, maybe we can get up and then get to the safe, and it's like just like a nuclear button or something. Who knows? Actually, I'm thinking there's three Morse codes of the one, two, three, four. I thought they're all the same, but I think the third one was the here code. I wrote it down quickly, and it was like a doot 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 doot, like the the screenshot. So I'm thinking one and two aren't actually the exact same things, and they're three different codes. And I've been fucking it up thinking it's just repeating itself in case you miss here multiple times. So I meant to hear or get the three words the Morse codes have. So that means I got two Morse codes out of three, actually. And I have to hear and make sure I get the last one. Uh, wait. One, two, five, three, nine... Oh, <gasps> Corette! What's in here? Lisa marking... I'll take a screenshot of that. Press pass. Lisa. Um... Lisa. Yeah, pass. I think I should go check outside. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Better grab my camera. Uh, no. All right, well... Okay, so let's try it one more time. The first, like, just in order, and see if that does anything. Here. Okay. 
Next is walk last invalid code. Unless the developer has an oversight, I am absolutely sure I'm not mishearing the code. I have translated all three of them, and it's here, walk, find. Which... I just... I don't... I don't know. It wouldn't be words. But it says the last one's wrong. Here, walk, find. I, I just, it says invalid on the last code, unless it's bugged, unless it's on oversight. I'm getting the the two Morse codes and codes right, but just not the last one. I don't get it. So the last thing I'm going to do before I quit playing the game, uh, why is it saying in the news the radio is off? Stop. <laughs> but, all right. I'm going to skip ahead and see if I can walk up that building before being killed by the spider. If I, I, if I rush up the left slope, if there's like a door up there that I'm meant to rush to, and that's the only way to getting in there. Because otherwise, I, I thought it was like a big spider legs at first when the ending was happening, but I'm thinking it's just, maybe it's a, an inclined hill that leads to a building and there's a door up there. Maybe. The right side was too steep. The left side looked like it was good enough. So, we'll see. This is the last thing I gotta do, so let me just sit here for, like, ten minutes one more time. Actually, you know, no, actually, what, no, what, where, where the fuck is my phone, actually? No, really, where is my, where is my phone? No, uh, there's a QR code, and the code UH0404 kind of stands out the cubic code looks like like the press pass the security code on the right is blurred but the qr code is nice i'm gonna use my phone on that uh, and hope it's not a virus <laughs> oh, okay and never mind i was sitting on my phone man i could not feel that up my ass just kidding um okay let me see qr code let's go it's a youtube okay to youtube video okay okay it's it goes to a a three-year-old youtube video is that diablo 4 or wait hang on what dead by daylight what i i can't speak the language they're speaking but I, it, it leads to a i don't know a content creator from three years ago but like huh all right, I think we're... Oh, they, right, right, right there. Okay. <sighs> it's right here. Uh, uh, okay, wait. Oh, we, we can actually. We got it. 46, 45. I'll move diagonally if it means moving a little bit faster. I, I don't think I'm meant to be crawling up here, but... I mean, uh, uh, what? I'm, ah, oh, okay. All right, it's just a tall structure. <laughs> well, there's the, the spider's jump. Um, without the camera on but okay that, that's still the bad ending while shooting yourself is the good ending and the codes two of the codes work but the third one doesn't even though i've confirmed it works in morse code translation so i know it is here walk and find which makes me think it's just foreshadowing that you're hearing and you're going to be walking outside to try to find something or it's an easter egg that the true ending is you needing to hear walk around and find something outside and it's telling you that you know, you're walking someplace, and the only time you're walking is outside the trees, and you're meant to find something. And it's probably going to then highlight green when you find it, because the camera tells you something's going to be green, yet nothing is ever green in the bad ending. That is what I deduce. Uh, but the fact that the third code isn't working 
is odd to me. I don't know why, unless the developer intended that the, the code was meant to be wrong so it doesn't translate the word find to you, or... So it's kind of weird, but if it's just an oversight and it's a bug and the code is meant to work, okay. But if it's just that there's only a good ending and a bad ending, and, uh, and my theory is wrong and you're not meant to look for something, I have no idea. But we got the good and bad ending. I've been playing this game way too much, like genuinely uh, an hour and 55 minutes on my webcam, disconnected by two recordings when I played it the first time and every other time. So look at all the dedication I, I, of almost two hours I put into like a 15 minute game. And that's the whole my, all my day gone by recording two videos. But hey, that's the dedication I put to sometimes to indie games. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know about true endings or what secrets could be held. If anyone else wants to look, they're free to. Because the again, the developer doesn't have any comments on the store page. And I think that's unjust and silly. And the game's not bad. And again, to the developer, as to my mini rant in the in the middle, like there's potential in this, and I want to see more. Um, but you'll just have to make the store page more, uh, more. What's the word? More presentable to attract more people to giving it a chance, because it having zero comments is unnatural to a degree at the same time it sort of is like fear and hunger was much the same way like i keep telling people people only know fear and hunger now for it being extremely popular and people saying funger this and that but fear and hunger to me was this indie horror game no one knew about that also didn't have comments on the store page up until now it has a billion comments because everyone know like knows about it on the internet borderline and even twitter gimmick accounts know about it so my message always to indie developers is don't see yourself as some little tiny fledgling on the internet. If I think you have potential, I think you have potential. This has potential, but you know, it's like, I don't know what word I'd want to use, like the whole don't squander it or don't lose sight of things. I, I, I only want to say good, positive, wholesome shit to the developer. I don't know what their next game is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be horror related. I'm only going to just say what I've been saying. I see potential in this. I can see a future potential. But it's it's barely it's not even rough around the edges as well. Like it's blocky and the outside is kind of rough, but in the whole scheme of things, the internals and what the developer would have to do to make this game work as shorted as it is, I know there's a lot of work that gets put into something as that like this. Even without being a developer, I know the gist of like the duration of how much it would take for the ending cutscenes that some indie developers don't even put into the game. The direction, the framing, the animation, the things that aren't royalty free. Uh, I, I can see that effort. And also, you know what? Also, the screen's black. I might as well put it here. But either way, I'm done rambling. Hopefully, people enjoyed. And I don't know. Maybe the developer will be, be able to let me know if it is a bug, if it is over an oversight with the Morse code fucking shit. Because once I figured it out, it's like three codes, but it's being repeated three times, three separate times to a total of nine. Then I sort of begun getting it. But typing the codes really brought no cause and effect. Like typing the codes to get the words popped up didn't activate anything to my knowledge it just told you the here walk and find which again i think would lead to something hidden outside but i ain't wandering outside with no fucking sprint <laughs> so we're gonna leave it there i hope you enjoyed again if you did please leave a like comment hit that subscribe button big muffle subscriber the location down below for updates on my videos thank you for watching until next time